Welcome to another Wayne's World fishing adventure. Right, you've probably seen my previous video, uh, that was about making ground bait. Okay, so now I've made the ground bait, obviously, uh, and today I'm gonna go and put it all to the test. So I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. Uh, I'll be going today to Essex, a fantastic lake called Oak Lakes. Um, I think it's about six pounds a day to fish it or 25 pounds for a 24 hours. I'm going for 24 hours. Uh, they, it's got one, two, three, I think it's four lakes. Uh, I fished the Match Lake and I've also fished Oak Lakes before there. Uh, Match Lake's very good, but it's very young. It was only dug out in November of 2012. So it hasn't really matured just yet. Nevertheless, apparently there's bream in there. I never saw them. Uh, apparently there's other things in there. I never saw them. The only thing I did see was carp and plenty of them. So the Match Lake's worth a go if you're into your carp. Not big, not even double fit. Well, I say not even double figures. I've got one about 11 pounds. That was about it. However, it's a good day's fishing in the Match Lake if you like carp on the pole or, you know, on the... Uh, Waggler or something like that, it's a good bit of sport. However, the lake that I really wanted to go to was Oak Lake, the old lake, the original lake, and that's where I'm going to go and be fishing today and tonight. So, uh, uh, that one's got a lot bigger carp in there, um, they've got all sorts in there, they've got tent, rudd, bream, carp, you name it, they've got it in there. It's a very old lake, well matured, fantastic location. Uh, and another thing about it is, as well, the facilities are great, guys. I mean, most places these days they bombard you with all these silly rules oh you can't do this oh you can't do that oak lakes is a very very relaxed uh, fishery in the way it should be it's a very enjoyable place great place take your friends family kids you name it great place i'm not promoting them because uh i'm I get any benefit out of it i'm just telling you how it is uh i've been going to a lot of places and as i said before it's like sitting in a courtroom because there's so many rules and regulations that you have to follow and it takes the fun out of it. Whereas Oak Lakes, in my opinion, is an old school lake that just says, basically, if you don't take the piss, they won't take the piss. Can't be fairer than that, guys. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm having to walk into well, walk and drive, uh, but I am so running late. It's just story of my life. I was working last night and I was meant to be in Essex for 12 o'clock noon. It's now half past one and I'm still on my way. Uh, so uh, let me just get there as quick as I can. I'm going to meet a friend of mine called Chris Nolan. Uh, he hasn't been fishing for quite a while, we admit, so uh, you know, he's not an avid angler, let's put it that way. But Chris does get a bat, he's going to be helping me, he's going to be staying out tonight. So between the pair of us, we're going to nail them big carp, man. We're going to go out there, we're going to get those Jurassic carp, that's what we're after. So anyway, nevertheless, you never know what we'll catch. Anything's better than nothing, but I have got to get my butt in gear, so off to the lake and we'll see you at Oak Lake. Welcome to Wayne's World Fishing with me, special guest Chris Nolan. Today we're fishing a pole. We've had a couple out already. Wayne's had a nice tench. I've had a rud. So it's pretty good. Um, I'll just pull the pole in and talk you through the rig. That was bold. <laughs> But while I go and make the tea, my colleague Wayne will talk you through the rig. Wayne, would you like the dirty honours? Yeah, can do, mate. All right, let's have a look at that rig a bit closer. Right, guys, I've been uh, accused of not taking you through a lot of my rigs. I'm sorry about that. It's just I get a little bit caught up in the moment and I like catching fish. But nevertheless, let's talk terminal tackle. Right, 
as Chris said before, he's on the pole today, uh, so am I. He's using at the top of the pole, if you can see that right there at the top. Right, the elastic he's using is size 20. He's using it on a power tip, which you can buy in any any tackle shop. Just a universal power tip, I think from Dawa. It's about 30 pounds, 35 pounds. Obviously you cut it down to the size of your pole. You put it, um, I'd say about 15, size 15 elastic, maybe up to 20. That'd be spot on. As for the rig itself, <coughs> you can go and buy your own rigs already made, but I'm not a fan of that. I like to make my own that way. <coughs> it's just the way I like it. The main line we're using is about six pound main line. I think it was maxima line, if I remember correctly. That comes all the way down to the bottom here to a size 10 barbless specimen hook. Also, and it comes to indicating the bite, we've got the top here, that's of a little pole float. And the weight on here is 0.5 grams. It's an inline pole float, so um, 0.5 grams is literally bananas, it's absolutely nothing. So um, when when you do get a bite, this should really indicate pretty well. You can get thinner ones, I am a fan of thinner ones, not on a lake, on still waters like this. I prefer the thinner ones on, on moving waters like canals, uh, because that way they get a little bit less drag. But this, this will do just as well really, I mean there's not much in it. And that's it, it's just that simple guys. All you need to do, as I said, YouTube channel's coming, fellas. Just thread your line through there, there's a little eye, just, just there. And then a the float rubber at the bottom. Bob your ankle, funny as you aren't. As I say, it comes all the way through there. He's got a pellet on the end there. We've had a couple of tension. That's it, guys. All right, have exactly the same setup. Exactly the same. Just tip, just mirrored. It's absolutely mirrored. On the rods, we've got the rods out with the bait alarms. Um, that's a different setup, and I'll talk you through that now. So basically, I'm just going to talk you through my setup now. We've got a 15 pound braided main line, with a maggot feeder, and a small swivel with a six pound hook line and a size 8 barbed hook with maggots, filled with maggots. And basically what I'm going to do here is just load a little bit of ground bait in. Some of um, Wayne Stocker's special carp ground bait. And then I'm going to top it with maggots. Hopefully that will lure some of the uh, specimens in and there you go Wayne's well fishing you've seen it here for a second looks like Chris has just had something on the uh, on the rod but it doesn't seem very big he reckons it's oh yeah play it mate play it oh so what's on the end of that then Chris bit of an animal eh I completely like a monster yeah, it doesn't look like it's given him much of a fight, probably small roach or rud again, but nevertheless, fish is fish. Yes, yeah, the world's smallest roach. Ah, all of four ounces. Can you believe it? All that for a four ounce bloody roach. You could have caught it on a pole, Sorry. single maggot on the pole. Poor thing. All right, guys, Wayne's well fishing. It's the day after, the, uh, the morning after the night before. Just banging on a pole, me and Chris, and had a pellet, 11 mil. It looks like I'm into a bream by looks of things. Never let, I don't know what size. I don't even know if it is a bream. Have you seen it yet? I'm just going to give him a hand yeah, Chris is to in land it. Hand. I've only got number 10 elastic, so I can't be bullying it. But we'll, uh, we'll see what it's saying. It's not really just yet, Chris, I don't think. Right. But it's not far from it. Oh, oh lovely. Nice. Oh, it's a tench, isn't it? It's, it's a... The tench. It's a tench. It's a nice Judy Dench. I thought it was a bream. Not much fight in that tench, I'll be honest, but... Oh, it's a nice one, Wayne. Nice little tench. That is a nice tench, about £2. Pretty good. Sorry to hear first, guys.